Okay, so the stag just got back from a seven kilometer range test, and he says this antenna setup is the best he's ever used. So we're gonna compare the results from a few different antenna setups and figure out which one performs the best and which one is the stag's favorite. Here we go. And so for this first run, we're using the stock antenna that comes with the DJI O3 uh, VTX. It's kind of a short dual band linear antenna. And then the stock linear antennas that come on the B2 goggles and an iFlight crystal patch that's on the front. And we are doing pretty good through the gauntlet, but a little bit glitchy and you definitely had some latency lag there. However, this is basically better than any other test I've ever done with analog HD0. Even Walksnail using four helical antennas, I definitely was never getting this performance before. But I think we can do a little bit better, so let's try some different antennas. So now in this next test, I have replaced the stock DJI O3 antenna with two HDLRC Omni left-hand circular polarized antennas. And I would say that the performance is pretty similar. I don't know if I would say it's a tremendous difference. So now in our third test, I've added two TrueRC dual band Omni antennas on top of the goggle, which should work better because now everything is left-hand circular polarized. And it's a little bit jumpy, but it's substantially less jumpy than it was in the first two tests. So we are we're seeing some improvement. So now we're gonna do a run with two seven turn helical antennas. And here we go up through the trail, almost perfectly smooth, really high megabytes per second, and we're getting barely any jitter. So can we do a little bit better? Let's go ahead and try one more antenna setup. So now our final setup is a bit different. We're using two iFlight Albatross antennas that are very tall on the quad itself, a DIY helical antenna, and then I've also put on two TrueRC X2 Air antennas. And as we come up through the trail, I mean, this is the hard bit here. I have extremely high bit rate. My latency is nice and consistent. I'm not getting any of that jumping. Blurriness on the side of the screen is pretty minimal. That was incredible. Now, both of these setups with the iFlight Crystal in the helicals and the X2 Air in the helicals, I'm feeling extremely confident with. In fact, they're working so well that I'm doing something now that I've never done before, and that's flying backwards through the gauntlet trail. Okay, well, I am really satisfied with those results. Each of these antenna setups is actually performing really, really well with those two helical setups just really dominating the gauntlet trail. But now we're going to go ahead and do a quick range test to see how each of these antenna setups performs as we get further out into the mountains. And we'll talk about some interesting performance surprises and some little quirks. At the end of the test, we will talk about which one of these antenna setups is the stag's favorite and which one we will be using going forward. Now, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you know that I generally use HD0 for mountain surfing, and that's because it has some unique advantages over DJI. But this DJI system is performing really, really well. So will I be replacing my HD0 system? So for some reason, setup number five is getting these weird glitches, and I'm not exactly sure why, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later in the video. Um, the two helicals with the iFlight patch is performing insane. Of course, the high gain setups with the helicals are performing substantially better, but even the two most basic setups are performing really, really well. Okay, so now we've reached five kilometers or three miles out. Plan on doing any sort of long range with the DJI O3 system. One of the best improvements you can make is to replace the stock O3 antenna with two taller Omni antennas. The antenna that comes with the VTX is actually a decent antenna, but it's too short. And you can see here, as you rotate the quad, your megabytes per second actually drop very quickly. And that's because the signal is actually being blocked by the quad. Now upgrading to two longer antennas is great, but bear in mind that the DJI system comes with linear antennas. So you're gonna have a bit of a mismatch. So we're actually gonna send setups one and two home because their signal is low and inconsistent. And we're gonna focus on the three remaining setups. Now the setup in the middle with the iFlight crystal and the two Omnis is performing really well considering we're seven kilometers out. 
super impressive. However, it's not very comfortable to have such fluctuation and low consistent signal. So we're gonna not really recommend that setup for long range. Now the setup on the left with the seven turn helicals and the eye flight crystal is performing incredible. Uh, we are out six, seven kilometers and we're maintaining 30 to 40 megabytes per second. That is truly amazing. Now the two setups that we have left are the seven turn helicals with the iFlight crystal and the seven turn helicals with the X2 airs. Now the performance with the helicals and the X2 air is really great, but I'm getting these weird glitches and I'm definitely not getting the same performance. Now my X2 airs are not brand new. I've had these for a few years and actually I've changed out the coax cable at some point. And so some of the performance issues might be just due to wear and tear. However, we did notice similar glitches in my original tests a couple of years ago with HD0. If you guys would like to see those tests, let me know and I can find them and post them. Um, but ultimately you are still getting pretty awesome signal. But what I will say is that the iFlight Crystal patch just fits these V2 goggles so well that for me, just from a design and transportation aspect, the iFlight Crystal patch is just so nice to have. So will I be using HD0 or DJI for mountain surfing going forward? Well, that's a bigger topic and that's gonna be in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Till next time guys, John and Kelby signing out.